Students, what's up? We're gonna do a 9-6 bonus example because you're gonna see one like this on the quiz, so I want to give you the abilities to answer this one. So what do we got? We got a gravity function, and we wanna know when will it be 30 feet from the ground. So I've given you a rough sketch here. This thing's gonna leave, uh, start its path at 10, plus 10. So it's gonna start at zero and 10, it's gonna go up, it's gonna come down and land a little after six seconds. We don't care about that. We don't care about the max height. We care about when, at what time will it be 30 feet off the ground. So here is where we want to know. So here's what you do mathematically. You literally set the gravity function equals to 30, and then you do the quadratic formula. So here we go from scratch. You set the original gravity function, gravity, initial velocity, initial height, equal to the height you're aiming for. We're aiming for 30. So what happens is this. We can't do the quadratic equation until it's equal to zero. So guess what? Make it equal to zero. Boom. It's now equal to zero. I'm too lazy to rewrite the whole thing. The only thing that changes is your C value. Okay? So plus 10 minus 30 is going to be a negative 20. Okay? So now we have a new C value. So if I go over here to A value, B value, C value... I now have a new C value. So now I'm gonna do the quadratic formula with these pieces. So again, that first step is the most critical. So hopefully you've done the quadratic formula a few times by now, but here's how you do it when you're aiming for a certain height. When you're aiming for the ground, you just set this equal to zero and then you go. But we're not aiming for the ground. We're aiming for 30 feet from the ground. So a positive 30 subtract it to make it zero. So basically you take the initial height minus your goal and you'll instantly calculate your new C value. So let's do the quadratic formula from here. I always start with the discriminant, B squared minus 4AC. It takes me two seconds to rewrite it. So I gotta go B squared minus four times A times C. It takes me another two seconds to rewrite it with the brackets. It takes me just a few more seconds to throw in the B squared minus four times A times C. Okay. Now, I got to calculate that. I got a feeling I'm going to have a positive number because I have to find two answers, and we've already talked about that. If, you're, if your discriminant is positive, you're going to be finding two numbers. So let's do that here really quick. Type it out nice and slow. Again, quadratic formula is more of a test of patience than it is intelligence. It takes absolutely no intelligence to just copy and paste the things that you see into a calculator. Ooh, 8,129. That's a big old discriminant. I'll write it down. There you go. There's my discriminant. It's positive, so I'm going to find two solutions. Spoiler, I already knew that. Okay, so let's finish off the formula. I'm going to do it right here. So I got to do negative B plus and minus the square root of 8,129 all over 2 times A. Okay, again, the negative B... And the 2A, I do those mentally. Those are small enough moves. If you want to type the whole thing or write the whole formula out from the beginning, that's an option. I like to start with the discriminant because for me, I'd get really upset if I wrote the whole formula out and I found out that this was just negative and I didn't have to do anything at the beginning. So I like to start with the discriminant. It's the biggest, baddest part of the formula. So discriminant, throw it in there. Negative B, 2A. Again, I do those mentally. So here you go. Here's what we got to figure out. Here's going to give us our two situations. Okay, so now we split the plus and the minus. So one of my answers is going to be negative 97 plus the square root of 8129 all over a negative 32. My other answer is going to be a negative 97 minus the square root of 8129 all over negative 32. Don't be intimidated by these big numbers, okay? whoop de doo It's a square root. That's what this thing's for. You'll be fine, okay? Don't be intimidated by these big numbers. Knock it off. You're a human, and these are just scribbles on a piece of paper. You're way better than that. Here we go, one at a time. Now, why did I do the brackets? Because you must do all of this and then divide by the negative 32. Don't mess it up at the end. So I'm going to type the whole thing like I see it. Negative 97 plus the square root of 8129 
close the bracket. There you go. Look at that bad boy divided by negative 32. Oops, negative, bro. Thank you. One of my answers is going to be 0 0.21. So I'm going to say about 0 0.21. So about 0 0.21. Okay, so second decimal place is usually pretty good with these, depending on how accurate you want to be. Make sure you read the directions. It'll tell you exactly where to go with your accuracies. Okay, now I got to do the exact same thing, but I got to change you into a minus. It'd be nice if I could just go up and edit that. I don't know if I can with this, these fancier calculators, but hey, it takes a few seconds. Just type it out again. Minus square root. And the reason I'm saving the square root, I don't simplify the square root at all, is I want to be as accurate as possible. Because if you round this, your answer will be affected later. Okay, so I'd rather round at the end and do no rounding earlier on. Save all my rounding for the last, last move. Okay, minus divided by that. Okay, here we go. So we got about five points. That's going to be an eight, five. There we go. Okay, I found out what's gonna happen. So my graph, I'm going to hit 30 feet at about 0 0.21 seconds right away. So like, yeah, 0.2 seconds. Boom, that's gonna hit 30 feet pretty quick. But then again, if you're launching this thing at 97 feet per second, it's gonna travel from 10 to 30 pretty darn quick. Okay, and then 5.85 is when it's on its way back down. So it comes up, you and then about 5.8 is when it's going to be here and then it's going to land a little after six now where did i get this sketch from well i'm glad you asked that i went ahead and graphed this to make sure it works and looky here friends hey look there's our 0 0.21 it rounded the third decimal and then hey there's our 5.85 rounded to the second decimal look at that beautiful right look at that we found both those numbers by hand Again, you can graph it in five seconds and go to Desmos. See what I did? I did the equation and I did y equals 30 feet. Cool, you can type things into a calculator or a graphing calculator and you can see where the lines crisscross. Cool, can you do it by hand? That's the whole point, okay? Doing this stuff by hand. So quick recap, quick replay. We took the function, the gravity function, set it equal to 30 then we got rid of it because you can't do the quadratic formula unless it's equal to zero. Got rid of the 30, made a new C value. Do not use this one, okay? New C value, did the discriminant, plugged the discriminant in. Basically, I took my time and I calculated very carefully. So most of this stuff is based off your ability to calculate things, okay? Again, patience, okay? Smooth is fast and fast is efficient or something like that. I don't know. I've said it a billion times. I'm, I'm losing... I'm losing steam here. If you do it smooth, you can do it fast and efficient. If you do it efficient, you don't have to redo it later, okay? Smooth is fast and fast is efficient. So um, that's about it. I've lost my train of thought. Stuff, stuff, do stuff, take your time, do it right. Okay, see you in class.